name is Imran and today we're going to talk about how to create a database table with plugins. So in the tutorial we're going to learn how to create a database table, uh, how to insert values into it, data into it, and also we're going to learn how to call them whenever the plugin is activated by the user. And we're also going to learn how to upgrade uh, the version in case if you want to alter the table that you had created already and add new data okay so this video is going to be in three parts and uh, we're going to discuss this in three steps so let's discuss the first step <coughs> the first step will be we need to write a PHP function that creates a table okay and also uh, inserts the data into it the second step is going to be uh, ensuring that the WordPress calls this function when the plugin is activated and the third step will be creating an upgrade function if a new version of the plugin needs to have a different table structure okay so let's jump into creating the first step so for the first step uh, we're going to define two functions first gel install data which is going to create the table for us no sorry not this one sorry yeah gel install it uh, function which is going to create the table for us and gel install data function which is going to insert the values into the table <coughs> so before we define these two functions we will define a variable called gel db version which will be global variable <coughs> so that it's accessible inside the functions uh, and we're going to assign a value of 1.0.1 .1. so for the first version this will be our JOL DB version we're also going to um, take a global variable a WPDB which is actually a, an object provided by WordPress which contains all the methods and properties of our class WP so our class WP is a, is a file which is inside of the WP includes folder and this has got all the methods and properties required to deal with the database like creating the database updating you know uh, not creating I think uh, updating the database inserting the data uh, you know deleting the data and things like that so we don't have to instantiate this class uh, the moment we access the WPDB uh, variable global variable provided by WordPress it is automatically a pre instantiation of our WP class so this global variable is going to have all the properties and methods of our WP class from this file <coughs> now we are taking this globally whatever we defined here the version number and we are going to have a table name which we are going to create so our table name will be lives outbox and we're going to prefix this with um, wp underscore so basically accessing the prefix property of wpdb class is going to give us the value as wp underscore which means wp underscore dot lives outbox will be equal to wp underscore lives outbox so our tail will be like this wp underscore which is created by this uh, property and then we adding it concatenating it with lives out out box so this will be like our table name which will be equal to this okay cool. <coughs> now we're gonna go ahead and access the method of our WP class WPDB uh, WP class which is get charge at collate and what does this do so we are using the WPDB get charge set collate method to set the default character set and collation for the table if we don't do this some characters could end up being converted to just question marks and when saved into our data table okay so in order for us to 
set the default character and set the collation for the table so that they don't show up question marks we are going to use this method get char set collate <coughs> which will be equal to this and we are going to you know add that to our query statement now we are creating a query statement uh, SQL which is create table table name which is this WP underscore lives out box the first column name is ID which will be auto increment the second column name is time it's current time name uh, then text URL and then this is the primary key okay and then we are adding this method which is going to give us the uh, char set collate <coughs> now we need to define this function we need to call this function DB Delta and this DB Delta function actually resides under our upgrade.php file so hence we need to require this file because if we don't require the upgrade.php file we won't be able to access the DB Delta function so that's why we're requiring it and now we'll be able to call this function and we're going to pass our statement that we have created into this and what this is going to do for us is going to go ahead and create this table to know more about this function so DB Delta examines the current table structure compares it to the desired table structure and either adds or modify <coughs> the table as necessary so it can be very handy for the updates so it's going to compare our existing table so this function is basically going to convert uh, sorry compare the existing data uh, base table structure with our new uh, table structure that we are going to add and is going to go ahead and either add or modify the table depending on what statement we are passing into it so here in this situation we are passing the statement which is asking this function to create the table so it will create it okay cool so this is a very handy function okay <clears throat> then we are going to call the predefined function of WordPress that WordPress provides to us which is called add option this is going to take two parameters shell DB version and and this one the version number so what this is going to do is this is going to go to our pre-existing database table WP options and it's going to create a new field under the option name as uh, gel DB version so it's going to add gel DB version over here and under the option value it's going to add the the version number which is this 1.0.1 <coughs> over here so it's going to add the new field under the WP options pre-existing table okay so that takes care of this function uh, just to recap on this function uh, it will go ahead and uh, get the prefix uh, and then you know create create the table name uh, get the char set collate prepare uh, create a statement and then you use that statement to create a table and then we're going to also go ahead and define the version number into our WP options table then the next function gel install data is basically for inserting the data into the table that we would create so this table WP underscore lives out box it's going to insert the data into it <coughs> okay so we're going to take the global WP DB so that we can access the uh, properties and methods of our WP class we're going to take the welcome name as our data value for name welcome text the value for the text uh, column of our table and table name will be WP underscore lives out box we're gonna use the method insert method for our WP class and remember guys this is going to be very handy this insert method because the benefit of using this <coughs> insert method is that you don't have to sanitize the data this function already takes care of sanitization and it makes our job easier because it's kind of a shortcut otherwise we had to use the query function and then uh, use the prepare method of our WPDB to sanitize the data we don't have to do that when we are using methods like insert and update so they are very handy functions okay so <coughs> insert the data it's going to insert the data is going to take two parameters table name which is WP underscore lives out box and these values 
So time will be the column name of our table, <coughs> which will be current time. The name of the uh, the column name uh, value will be welcome name this, and then text will be this. Okay. So that takes care of the first step, which was to create write a function to create the table and uh, write another function to insert the data into the created table. And now in the next video we'll discuss the next step is to call the function. So see you then.